Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another glorious Soviet Sunday. We are back with, I think, the 30th episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We have been making some solid progress lately, and I'm very excited, as always, for today's episode as well. We are going to, uh, well, we're going to hopefully uh, complete, I mean, maybe come close to completing our new uh, train line. I don't know how long that'll take. We are building some new residential units as well. But perhaps most importantly, we're going to start planning two new expansions, two potentially entirely new cities, in fact. So I'm really excited to get that going and uh, seeing how that'll all play out. But first, of course, we're going to address the existing situation uh, talk about some of the comments that were left from the previous episode and uh, and then yes we'll we'll maybe play most of today on double speed but uh eventually we'll start planning things uh across the map a little bit and as we do that i will uh, i might slow it down to single speed just to make sure that we don't lose a track of anything we are starting at 1.2 million rubles so that's a good starting point let's try and beat that i don't know if we will there's a little bit of construction to do uh, this session, none that we're going to rush, though I don't think so. You know what, we might actually, we might hit 1.3. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so, what are we going to uh, take care of first? Well, first of all, first of all, it was pointed out in the comments, and I noticed this as well when we first put this iron mine down, but thought little of it. Uh, it was pointed out, though, so I should address it now. Our iron mine over here, the Rostinsky iron mine, is unfortunately only able to, uh, well, the, the, the source is is a very low quality source and we knew that when we put this uh, iron mine down uh, of course the map is available to show us let me just resize that the map does show us that uh, this is not the densest area of uh, of iron deposits i mean unfortunately unfortunately i wish war was a thing in this game <laughs> unfortunately there's some good iron right just outside our border but of course it's outside our borders so we can't actually tap into it however what this means, what this low quality means, or what it might mean, is that all four of these processing plants might not be necessary, which is a bit of a bummer because, um, well, I mean, we planned it all out, we plotted it all out, and I really should have actually done a little test run, a little dry run, I suppose, first, uh, before planning all this stuff out. But you know what, I don't mind that we did. Uh, it's not the end of the world. What I'm going to do is I'm going to not commission these constructions. I'm going to actually go ahead and suspend your construction and suspend your construction. Uh, suspend all of these guys' constructions. But not waste time basically on any of this. Wow, I should have, uh, I didn't realize how many <laughs> of these I'd put down. Suspend all of this. And what we'll do is do a little test run first and see how, uh, how the processing is going, basically. I want to see if, uh... Sorry for that edit there. Had a bit of a coughing fit. Not my, my apologies. Wanted to edit that out for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying, uh, what we want to see is we want to we want to test out if this is good enough. If these two are good enough for processing the amount of iron coming out of this iron mine. I'm sincerely hoping that it's not, and I am sincerely hoping that we need for at least three... Um, processing plants to keep up with the supply and hopefully we're able to actually uh, kind of sustain ourselves using just this one battery over here at least for the next little while we we knew since since the beginning we knew that this wasn't going to be our be-all end-all solution uh, to the you know iron or quote-unquote problem the imports uh, so I'm not too uh, upset about that I'm not too fussed about that saw the numbers but I thought you know we'll try this out anyway so what we'll do is once this road is done being built which is very soon actually we'll go ahead and we'll get one of those uh, buses that has like the two buses attached there's got to be a term for that not a double decker obviously those are the tall ones like the ones that are stacked what's the ones that are lengthwise? anyway well what we'll get one of those to drop people off over here hopefully uh, by then, these residential units over here will be done. Uh, we'll be training them up to here, and then we'll be take we'll be bussing them from here, uh, probably down and around and up and around and up. It'll, it'll take a while for them to get here, but that will hopefully supply people to these three buildings, and we'll see how it does. Either way, once this has been you know determined, I suppose one of the next big projects that we've talked about for a while. And I, I want to know you guys' opinion on this. So one topic that we've talked about for a while is the uh, oil industry. There's some really great oil reserves over here. 
right? We can actually tap into this stuff and uh, bring oil in. I believe, if I recall correctly, oil does not actually need workers uh, to pick up the oil. So that's relatively easy in that we can, you know, pick the oil up. The, the struggle is going to be um, storing that oil into, a, uh, into an oil or fuel storage spot and then taking a train, or I guess it would have to be, hmm, surely we can load onto a train. Yeah, there we go. We'd have to load it onto a train and then take a train all the way back. Uh, it was mentioned in a comment many, 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 many episodes ago that uh, oil pipelines are a lot more expensive than trains, so we'll have to test with, you know, bridges and tunnels and whatnot. Uh, but th the thing is, that'll take a long time to build that uh, train network and plan out the whole oil thing. Uh, but we've been talking about it for a while, so should we prioritize that and open up a whole new industry uh, that brings us money that way? Or, something I've been mulling over for a while now is, do we want to actually get a new city going? All the way down over here, where the iron reserves are a bit more plentiful. Sorry, wrong tab there. Uh, where are we? There we go. So, there's a lot more iron to be had over here, right? Like, oh wow, look at that. Look at that, so much. And what I was wondering was, do we want to maybe create a bit of a, like a, like a, like an automobile, automobile, automobile city. You know, like a, like a car industry. Because we have, let's see, we, we can get the iron, obviously. What does, where is, where, how do we, engineering industry, production lines. They would require plastics, which we don't have. Mechanical components, electronic components, fabric, electronics. So there's a couple of steps to get there, I suppose, and maybe I should do that first before jumping the gun uh, to, to, to building it. But, I mean, the first step would be, you know, getting the iron mine set up, and I could then ship the iron up to there for processing, or we could process it over here and have a train, uh, you know, take it all the way up, join up over here, and deliver it to the uh, steel mill over here. There's a lot to think about, actually. This, this would probably be the location of a second city. Uh, so, a hefty undertaking. Maybe we don't have the funds for it. Wait, sorry, not this. This. It's really far away as well. Um, but it'd be, it'd be an interesting undertaking, I think. And of course, uh, there's actually oil near here as well. So, one has to wonder if maybe rather than going all the way to this lake just for oil, we don't... Hmm. Yeah, we don't start planning something down over here for oil and iron. This is actually, this would have been the ideal spot for the starting city, actually, now that I look at it. Now that we have, this map wasn't there when this game launched. This is a new edition. And launched, got released into early access. This would have been an ideal spot for an opening city. But hey, you know what? We're paying the price of not knowing better. Um, so yeah, lots to think about. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do oil and, and iron down here and eventually evolve that into, a, into the steel hub and into the uh, car production hub as well. And then up over here, we might actually, you know, demolish the steel mill eventually one day. W eventually. You know, this isn't something that's happening right now. Anyway, apart from that... Sorry, I spent a lot of time talking about that. Apart from that, uh, down over here actually was pointed out that uh, emergency vehicles are able to use sidewalks to, to, to traverse land, I suppose. And uh, actually on the mention of, you know, sidewalks and stuff, I started looking at this and started realizing just how hideous it really is. And uh, now part of me is wondering if I want to demolish some of these roads, or at least cancel some of these roads. Like, how much nicer would this be if it was, you know, every... Every third, right? Like, it'd be so much neater. Make this into a mud road. Hold on. Let me cancel this. Make this into a mud road. Of course, the footpath is in the way. Cancel you. Um, sorry, just doing this so that we can get construction going right away, basically. Uh, but yeah, it would look, I think, a lot neater. Or your construction. It would look a lot neater if it was every third. The, the, the thing becomes that people are... Like, I wonder if people can still... Reach. You know what's really unfortunate is, let's see, 231, you can get up to 231 meters. This is surely less than 231, why can't we get people from there? Must be a sidewalk thing. See, like, if I demolish this and I get a, a footpath going... Sorry. Let's just test it out with a mud footpath. Over like so. Nope, still can't. 
Well, hold on. Just gotta- th this was- I've been- I've become distracted, I'm sorry, but I want to figure out why these people can't reach there. Just so I have a better understanding of what's going on. Oh, that's the limit, it seems. Yeah, that's the limit. So this- this building might actually be useless for our, uh, for what we're hoping to do. Which is really unfortunate. You know what? Just to not waste uh, time, money, and resources on it. Nothing's been brought here yet. Let's go ahead and demolish that. Because I need to... Uh, I need to figure this out. Where, like, do I get a bus stop somewhere over here? To drive people up to the train station? That's an option. Drop them off there, and then hopefully they get picked up by a train. I will be doing more housing over here. Hmm. Bus stop could be over here. I wanted this to be the end of this, like, plateau, if you will. That is a lot to think about. You know what? Fine. We'll let this be. We'll let this be, and then hopefully we can use these guys to, uh... Where would they even reach? They can't reach transit anywhere. They might be able to... Yeah, we could send them down over here to work these... Uh, you know, like the, the the theater and whatnot. Maybe put a shopping center down over here as well for these guys to work at. That might do the trick. I think maybe. I definitely need to do something about this. I, I wanted to. What I wanted to do was I wanted to loop around up over here, and I wanted to get these buildings on this side as well. All right, that's my like next extension. That's the plan for the next extension. I get those buildings over here. And I want to have a bus stop or something to drive people up to this train train station. That train station has become a, a, an extremely important one. An extremely important one. The next train station is actually going to loop around this way and perhaps be over here or... Well, not over there. We got the bus stop over there. But somewhere over here is going to be the next uh, station. Um, looking very much like Toronto's loop. Anybody that knows the Toronto subway tracks will know what I'm talking about with this little U loop. Anyway, sorry. Just discussing plans. Uh, so yeah, do I want to get rid of some of these roads? Make it every... Um, middle one, you know? Like if I do that, just for a quick test. Definitely looks a lot nicer. And people can still reach. So you know, that's fine. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. So let's go ahead and cancel... So much, so many wasted resources. We'll leave this one for now because it's been done in the. Well, actually, you know what? Let's change this into a mud road. Has the same effect. Go ahead and cancel this. Yeah, this is a lot of wasted time and resources, but it, it looks so much neater. It looks so much neater. And footpaths. Let's go ahead and cancel all of you. Get rid of those crossings when we don't need them. We go and roads as well. Hope you guys don't mind the uh, the cleanup. Well, actually, you know what? As I'm doing all this, perhaps we can let time continue. I don't know why I've kept it paused for so long. Let's let time continue, and uh, I will I will clean up these roads. I hope I didn't cancel anything over here. Looks like we're fine. What did I? Yeah, no. Oh, no. It looks like we're fine. Um. So yeah, I'll I'll let time continue, as uh, that stuff is getting all set up. The roads are getting built. Yeah, that's fine. Because I do want to try and get um, this building done as well, so that we're uh, you know we're getting more people out there. Hmm, that was a problem. Shall we get rid of this? Yes. Well, first, want to make sure this gets built. Want to make sure these buildings stay connected. more prefab panels, that looks like. Or what is this? Yeah, prefab panels being brought in. This will be fine. I'm, 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 I'm pretty excited for this, actually. Wish this train station could pull people from down here, but... Kind of weird, isn't it? 226 meters. I mean, I guess it's a diagonal distance. So far away. What is the range? 250, do you think? 
probably, so we're like just out of reach there. It's okay, it's okay. What we might do is, again, we might want to do a loop here maybe, get a bus stop down over here. We'll get more housing over here, get a bus stop somewhere over here maybe to bring, um, to bring people from these houses up to the, the trains over here. Hmm. Also, this is crazy. Look at the all the prefab panels being brought in right now. Except for these guys. These guys are just empty-handed. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, Alright, what else have we got going on? What else have we got going on? So this is obviously being constructed still. At a decent enough pace, I think. If I can find... There it is. I remember having a hard time finding this vehicle last time. Looks like you're empty right now. No people, I assume. Yeah, no people working here right now. Not because of traffic issues, I hope. Yep, nope. We're good. Now, now I am starting to wonder if I should get a uh, footpath connecting the construction station, construction yard, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Now we're probably fine. You're fine here as well. We're still bringing people over to here, I hope. I think so, at least. I'm pretty sure we had a decent rate of people arriving here. That you're going to stop here and drop people off. Just the three. Fair enough useless. You are going to where? You're going to Farminsky with 62 people. Yeah, so people are definitely still coming there, which is good. Which is good. Alright, um, let's go ahead and keep cleaning up over here. Anyone not assigned? Okay. You should be able to work it, right? What do we need? Gravel? We've got dumpers? Yeah. Go ahead and sign. You know what? It's a tiny piece of sidewalk. Let's just pay for it. Let's just pay for it, just so we can clean this up a little bit faster. Cancel that. So yeah, as always, as I say constantly, um, if you're interested in seeing this series continue, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving your likes and comments down below. It really does make a very big difference, because um, I look at those numbers to try and get an understanding for what I should do more or less of on the channel. Like if I should do, you know, Worker Wednesday and Soviet Sunday both happen because of you guys in the comments and leaving likes below, letting me know that's what you wanted. Uh, if it wasn't for that, then we'd still only be having one episode per week. On top of that, like I've said countless times, I do read all of the comments. I read all the feedback, I read all the kind words, I read all the uh, 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 grievances, I read it all, right? So this cleanup wouldn't be happening if it weren't for your comments, or the, um, you know, like our conversation that started off the episode about the low productivity, the low potential of this iron mine wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the comments, so do keep them coming. All right. Looks like this road section is done. No, still a little bit of work to do over there. Almost done. What's wrong with this one? I guess we don't put... I guess the... Wait a second. What the hell? You know what I just realized? I just realized that the streets don't actually have... Um, like, the lines going down the middle. The, the, the lane lines, lane markers. It's only when you... Hover over. Wait a second. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. What the hell? <laughs> Just noticed that. What's the deal here? People arriving finally? Yes. There we go. Lots of people arriving, and so now you'll be activated. Don't know if you have any resources still. Yeah, it looks like you've got the steel you need, so that's good. That's good. Bricks have arrived. They've been topped up. Part of me is wondering if I should actually um, find a way to get like some aggregate storages or something storing up over here. Now, somebody actually mentioned that rather than using these uh, these large aggregate storages, I should use trains and stuff to transport because it's faster and more efficient. I don't entirely disagree, and I might look at those kinds of investments uh, down the line. Because, um, yeah, all these conveyor belts are, are <laughs> crazy. They're crazy. Let's go ahead and cancel some more of these roads. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I really hope I'm not making a mistake in getting rid of all these. It certainly looks nicer. It looks so much nicer. So much cleaner. I hate that this is not symmetrical, but nothing we could have done about that. We needed the room for the tracks to go by, so it's okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't check, actually. It was with a sidewalk. Have we left enough room for the tracks? Yes, over here. But how about over here? Looks like... No. 
Gonna, gonna, gonna have to get rid of this footpath over here. Invested so much in. Actually, hold on a second. Let's cancel it. Figure this out in a second. Oh, it's really neat how light is actually coming through over here. Couldn't tell exactly what that was. Alright, let's track. Too close to... Oh, come on. What, it's because of that? It wasn't a problem before. Hmm. That's going to be an annoying little dance, isn't it? That's going to be an annoying dance. Alright, it's fine. We'll let the sun rise and then I'll, I'll go over what happened there. It gets really dark when the sun sets. I, I wish it wasn't so dark when the sun set. Looks like we finished another bridge section. Indeed it does. It's taking time, but you know, it's getting done. Getting done. Some more prefab panels and steel. I guess we've already got all the brick section. No, no, no. This part still needs some bricks. This still needs some bricks as well. Long way to go. Long way to go. Holy. It's okay. We'll have to get rid of these, these, um, semaphores when the time comes. Are you done yet? Looks like we're done here. Alright, so we can actually get a bus coming up over here. Figure this out. Now, we would probably want to... At least build part of this... Process, right? Like the, uh, conveyor belts and whatnot. Because, one way or another, we want to still get the, uh, processed or down to here. I'm starting to think again that we will use the conveyor system. Though a train... Yeah, it's just not going to be a clean connection for trains, unfortunately. So that's what, what we'll do. Anyway, uh, real quick over here. What happened was... I don't remember this. I thought we had clean connections, but we can't just go straight across like that. Uh, it's a little bit further down, which means our connection isn't going to be perfect. It would have to be like... That. Angle of connection is too sharp. No, it's not. There we go. So we we can still do it. It's just got this really horrible little God jank to it. I'm gonna keep that down as a reference point. Let's go ahead and get these footpaths. Like so. Alright. Just, just, yeah, just leaving that there as a reference point. I could... And still, yeah, I can get across. But what, where does it, why does it... Okay, that's too big a descent, that's fine. I mean, it straightens up afterwards, so that's fine. It's just, this is gonna bother me. Surely there's a neater way of doing this. Because this extension is coming soon. It's not that far away. This extension is coming soon. You know what? I guess that's not horrible. Oh, God. Alright. Well, with that scene, I can now cancel it. No, no vehicle is using that. I have no paths in that direction. Come on, game. You know this. I know this. We all know this. Cancel all this. There we go. There we go. Cool. Good to know, though, that, yes, that it is still possible. It is still possible. Alright. How are we, how are we looking? You have all the prefab panels. No, you have all the steel you need. You still need some prefab panels. But this will get done soon. Alright, um... Buses. And also conveyor belts. Buses and conveyor belts. So, here... We do have another spot right there. I wonder if, rather than moving this thing over, because God knows... Well, it won't fit. Let's be honest with ourselves, it won't fit. I could instead do something like this. This is blocking our construction. I could demolish that if necessary. Uh, or, let's see, if I put you down over here. We are not auto building. If I put you down over here, will this connect? It will. Okay, so that's good to know. So if that can be our destination, right? If that can be our destination. 
then maybe there is hope. Maybe there is hope. Put you down over here. Get this connection like so. We'd have to have another one. That's fine. There's a hill block in the path, so that's okay. Like that. Right, we connect you. Yep, excellent. We connect you. Yep, and we connect you. Wow, that was... Painless. I don't trust it. What did I do wrong? Um, so that would be us ignoring the aggregate. What I could do is, if I still wanted to build the aggregate storage, because one way or another, I think we need the aggregate storage, right? Just the one isn't going to do the trick. We're, we're going to need more than one. Unfortunately, this is the only one we haven't actually connected to the storage yet. So let's just stick with this for now. There's a little like band-aid solution. Um, question is, how much do these cost? 6,000 each. I can afford that. I can afford that. Let's go ahead and get all the conveyor belts commissioned. Wow, all this is going to cost 303k. I wish I could individually select these and, and commission them, but no, I have to commission everything and then cancel it all. Which is just a silly way to go about it, but sure. Cancel. Cancel that. Alright. Good stuff. You're all done trying to do this as methodically as possible. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Top to bottom, left to right. Going clockwise, I guess. Spend you. Spend you. Okay. And then down over here. Alright. Yeah, we're good, we're good. These are the train tracks. Okay, guess we're good. Alright, fair enough. Um, so that's that taken care of. This is being prepared over here now. Um, let's go ahead and get a bus going over here. Uh, I might want to upgrade this road. Do we not have a footpath connection? No, this thing doesn't have a footpath connection. But I will want to upgrade this road. I could just pay for it out of pocket, because God knows we've got money now. Right, rather than waiting God knows how much longer to get this done. It's not that expensive. Feels good being able to actually use money like this again. <laughs> Alright, cool. Because again, fairly comfy, fairly comfy. Okay, so, let's go ahead and buy, well... How much longer? Not much longer. This thing should be done soon. So enough people will hopefully be coming here soon. 100 something plus, right? Let's go ahead and buy a new bus using rubles. Uh, the IKR 280 seems like the right call. I would like more of them out on the uh, the roads. These are all micro buses, so sure. The IKR 280 is going to go ahead and uh, it's going to pick people up over here, and it's going to drop them off over here. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's see how that works out. Especially with this thing not done yet. That's the big... Uh, that's, the, that's the big question mark. Because this is starting to get a little unsustainable. We already struggle sometimes for getting people up over here. So we need to get these houses done as soon as possible. Uh, oh, hey, look. So I might, like, last, like, however many episodes have all been about this bridge, haven't they? Especially the thumbnails. I'm like, bridge this, bridge that. But I'm just so happy about this bridge. <laughs> and the fact that we're building it ourselves. It's such a cool feeling. Okay, um, I'm wondering if we want to work on our next extension over here. Uh, on these houses over here, because we really do need to start getting more people, especially if we want to try and keep this thing topped up at 250. Uh, that's not going to be easy. These things also, we have no road connections to these conveyor belts. We can build quick and dirty mud road connections, I suppose. Might do that. Um, 
this some other infrastructures in the way what infrastructure this this, this track come on railway track do this all the time thought I saw a path yeah there's a path over there maybe do maybe we could climb okay okay not a problem not a problem this conveyor belt is also obviously getting in the way oh there we go It's a, uh, it's a combination of a lot of things. I'm part of me is tempted to just pay out for all these. Come on now, make a descent. We can't flatten you out. As many of you have pointed out, yes, you can use the road to flatten terrain pretty, uh, uh, like pretty quickly, but sometimes you don't get the uh, connection you need. Like over here, we need to use some of these. Obviously, it's not going to work anyway because of the infrastructure that's already in the way. That is really quite unfortunate. Ah, it's not that bad. Making it sound like a bigger deal than it actually is. We'll just pay for this stuff. Yeah, I think we'll just pay for it. I'm looking. I'm not looking to, to pay for it just yet. Uh, simply because it'll be some time before... Oh. It'll be some time before we... Uh, need these conveyor belts actually gotta get the buses up and running gotta get the processing happening and everything well this might actually work out oh that's ugly looking i really hope it doesn't stay like that climb that looks hideous <laughs> terrible ter terrible roads what's the deal here where does the problem start right there what about here? There we go. Okay, good stuff. Now you, you will probably not be able to overlap with construction. I don't know what you're talking about. Do that, that. Again, these are temporary roads, so don't worry about how messy they are. These are construction roads. Okay, and then down over here. There we go. Trying to do this all in a self self sustained and and self uh, uh, propagated, I guess, manner. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. You know what I mean, though. Like trying trying to trying to make this all uh, homegrown, if possible. But I don't know how possible it'll all be. Right? Our limitations, after all, like this. Come on, we got this. We nothing blocking me. A little bit of flattening, maybe. A little bit of flattening, perhaps? No? Okay. Can't see anymore. Let's go ahead and cancel this section, though. Well, some of these have been connected. Most of them have not. For the mud road... Yeah, see, this curve doesn't take well to crossings. How about over here? Infrastructure's in the way. There's some densely, densely packed areas. We can make this connection down here. Cool. Cleared out some trees, made this connection. So maybe we can actually build most of these on our own. Construction offices have already been assigned. Concrete, gravel, and asphalt. Not that much time either, so you know what? Maybe most of these can be built entirely by ourselves. Now, workers haven't arrived here yet. That's probably because the bus hasn't dropped people off yet. That would do the trick. Pushing the road off up there. Alright, let's see. Where is this vehicle? What are you up to? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard getting this vehicle topped up without those buildings, those housing units done back there. Definitely something that needs uh, work. Only 28 people waiting right now. This train's about to leave. Are we about to receive a new train load of people? If not, this bus is going to be leaving empty-handed quite potentially. I also don't necessarily like our setup entirely. I'm wondering if we can swap this out for a bus stop over here. Might be something I want to experiment with. That train needs to come here. 150 workers need to come here. But yeah, if I can make this into a, uh, a bus stop with a better flow and we don't have this little loop around... I think things will go a lot better. 
Yeah, see, this is a problem. All a matter of timings. Go ahead and tell you to force back right now. So when these people leave, you'll actually load up. There we go. Hey, 250 people right now. God damn it. Just missed time that again. Back, back. These guys must be so upset. It's like, nope. <laughs> Bus is mine. There we go. Now we're going to load up. 100 or so people. There we go. All 100 or so people. Another bus is... Another train, sorry, has just arrived. That's okay, because another bus has just arrived as well. That's for the coal mine. Good timing. All right. Cool. Very cool. Over here, progress is being made still. Yep. And over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I guess this home is homegrown. Right? Because we've built everything. Well, the prefab panels are imported. Negligible, though. Everything else, every like 90% of this is, is, is homemade. So that feels pretty good. Throwing a random percentage out there. But you know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at. Let's go ahead and get some more housing going over here. Because you know what? I've, uh, I've, I've determined that we are shooting ourselves in the foot by not doing that sooner. Let's go ahead. I wish I could tell it not to auto-build roads. Let's see. Do we go like so? Let's go ahead and get the... Uh, no, don't get citizens. Because that's our problem last time. We said get citizens. And because of that, people are going to actually be brought in. I cannot change that now, unfortunately, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, so, a bit of a bummer. So, because we have over overpopulation, basically. We're maxed out in these houses, so that's why I wanted to have some more room. This will fill up right away. We need a lot more houses. So, let's go ahead and get our new residential, you know, block, I suppose, going here. Residential buildings. Um, these are the ones. Get the wireframe up. Let's see, over here. We can't do that, obviously, because of the positioning of this thing. Will be a unit over, I suppose. That's unfortunate. But I can make that work. I can make that work without losing my mind, I think. Oh, there we go. That would be nice. This would be awkward for privacy concerns, but we got this over here. Move you up a little bit. Do I want to do that? Here, let's move you up a little bit. We do something like that. And something like... we got four fitting over here, right? So... Two... Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want things to line up. Sure. Two. God damn it. Hold on. We got this, we got this. Because what I want is, I want the footpath to line up nicely, and I want to make sure the buildings line up as well. Oh, there. We're gonna do that. There. Two. Sure. Three. Here. Yep. And four over. Here. Well, let's flatten this a little bit. If possible. Again, would let us. I won't. Or over. Oh no, that still fits. Here. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and demolish all these roads. So it's only the center one that's active. Now let's go ahead and get the footpaths going as well. Oops. There we go. So the footpath, center to center. Right here. Here to here. And here. Okay, cool. Go ahead and start your construction as well. That should help a lot. Now, the problem becomes the bus stop. 
But let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do for the bus stop. If I can put one over here, that'd be awesome. And I might just be able to. That's the point of these bus stops. Cancel the road here. Um, where are we? I believe to infrastructure. Okay. Where? Where? Which infrastructure? It's like one or the other. Hmm. Try this, right? Let's try this. And do this. Right in the middle. And then the road would be this one. Not perfectly straight, but I'll, I'll, I'll live with it. Yep. And what about our footpaths? Can we actually get these to connect? I doubt it. Press X to doubt, right? Yeah, no chance. Not a chance in hell. Oh, I mean... We could... Okay. Let's see if... Nah. There's no point. Cancel that. It'll just look messy. People can use the roads. People can use the roads just fine. Use the sidewalk. Get to the bus stop. Get on the bus. Take the bus all the way up to here. Take the train all the way up to there. Get rid of of the wireframe. And dear lord, I really sincerely hope that as I was putting all those down, yes, Get Citizens was unchecked. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, now let's just go ahead and put down some mud pa mud roads. Mud paths. Mud roads. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to have construction on the housing going on at the same time as construction on the uh, the roads. And that should be good. Go ahead and get this construction office that does roads almost exclusively. Get you to add this. Road connection doesn't exist. Yeah, it's going to be painful for a little bit. As I have to assign these constructions. But it'll be fine overall. It'll be, it'll be quick enough. It'll be quick enough. This is almost done. The sidewalks getting done? No. We need gravel. You can dump gravel, can't you? But you don't bring people. Wondering if one of these offices, perhaps... So much to do. <laughs> there is so much to do. This is where you kind of start to wonder, it's like, hmm, should we maybe... A for some of this stuff? 19 tons of iron just sitting there. 23 tons of iron just sitting here. Wondering. If we build, if we give this some priority. Rather than this one. Because what are we doing here? We've got you going out that way. You coming in this way. I feel like there's something we can do here. Otherwise this iron just going to sit here. That's a fair amount of iron. Just sitting there. This is getting finished over here now stuff. Really gotta figure this out. I also need to get a fire station up there or something. Not really uh, doing a good job with safety. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, whatever, we'll, we'll replace it. We'll build another one. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, I do feel pretty good about this new residential sector. About this thing almost being done. Very close to it. Very close to it. Steel still coming through at a decent rate. Yep. Coal seems like we've got quote unquote too much of it probably because we're being topped up on bricks the coal isn't being drained over there or maybe it's just because we weren't receiving workers at a fast enough pace momentarily but no feeling pretty good actually let's take a look at our imports uh, let's look at last month plus 71k this month's plus 38k things going pretty well last month we imported how much in iron 113k I also just want to see how these bus stops work. They're just smoother because traffic can pass through after people arrive. Also good color coordination. Everyone's wearing the same colors as the buses. <laughs> oh look, it's working. It's working. 
it's working. But the Iron Men of the Soviet Republic getting the job done over here. Those are our first, or perhaps second, group of Iron Miners. Now let's go ahead and see, actually. With 82 people, we're making 24 tons, so that's approximately... wow. Not good. Hmm. That's really not good. You guys are both topped up. I need to, uh, I might need to just pay for this. I mean, it's happening. Happening very slowly. It gets expensive is the problem. Maybe I just get some trucks to take the, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and get some trucks to do it for now. I don't want to pay tens of thousands of, uh, rubles when I can just pay, well, tens of thousands. Hold on a second. What the hell? <laughs> What's more expensive? You cost me 13k. Okay, this this will be like hundreds of thousands of rubles. All together. Whereas if I get a couple of trucks... Yeah, it'll be cheaper. Okay, so, uh, open hull, I believe, to move iron around. No? Closed hull? No? Uh, oh, I guess it would be... What, uh... Oh, what's the, what's the name? What's the name? Um, dumper, there we go. Yeah. But what can carry the most iron? Let's see, 12 tons, we've got a 12 tonner down there. 12 tonner up over here, where is it? 11k or nk. Okay, fair enough. Who is faster? You go at 72. You go at 60. So you're faster. All right. Get a couple of them. Get four of them. Because we can we can repurpose these dumpers. Right, we can repurpose them. Let's go ahead and get you to start over here. Oops. Get you to start over there and dump it off over here. Load, unload. Begin. Get you. Load, unload. Begin. Get you. Load and unload. Let's get you. Load and unload. Begin. All right, cool. At least offsetting the cost a little bit. We're now starting to store the ore. It's got nowhere to go. Not a good test, but... <laughs> gotta start somewhere, right? You gotta start somewhere. A little unfortunate is this little loop around that needs to happen. I wish there was a more direct connection from... The direct road connection. It is what it is. Look at that, just this tiny section over here would cost 10k. You kidding me? 18k for that one. 13k for this one. Oh, mm. elevation and stuff must have something to do with it. So let's let uh, construction happen, quote unquote, naturally, so to speak. This is almost done. Need some prefab panels, which we should still be auto importing, right? Sorry, over here. Oh, no, we are not. Keep the prefab panels coming. They're pretty cheap. And we need them for all this construction work. And hopefully soon we can assign construction offices. This thing... Tempting to pay for these. Tempting, but I'm not going to. I want to try and become as, like... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, self-sustaining as possible, I guess. As, as... Local as possible, I suppose. Okay, here. The dumpers are arriving. That's good. Loading you up. How slow are you? Pretty slow. Very slow, in fact. And only one vehicle? No, two vehicles can load up at a time, so I'm happy with my 2 to 1 ratio. Well, hey, at least production is being kept up. Alright, alright, that's good. Wait, what are you doing? Where are you going? Are you trying to get refueled? You're trying to get refueled. 
Hmm. I need a gas station over here. Glad I noticed that. I need a gas station over here for sure. Oops, no. What could go wrong with a gas station this close to these mills? Maybe at the corner over here? And I might pay for this, actually. Yeah, get you set up over here so anybody that needs refueling can come up over here. It's, it's close to a junction. Rather than all the way up over here, I think that's a good idea. Go ahead and find a nice piece of terrain where we can flatten. Yeah. And let's see how let's drop you down over here. And I do believe we'll auto auto build this. Oh, you know, it wouldn't take too long, but we're wasting so much time. How much would it cost? Less than four thousand. Just build it. Like I said, I'm trying to be as like self-sustaining or whatever as possible, but sometimes it just makes sense to do that because we we left an entire pair of shipments up there because a couple trucks needed some gas because they didn't fill up on gas before heading out. So a lot of wasted time, a lot of wasted resources right now. Well, at least, at least we're still mining, I suppose. There's that. At least that's still happening. What's the deal over here? These are being built. No workers. And that's a byproduct of this situation. Thousand. It's a thousand away. Do I just do this? Again, God knows we've got the money. There's not enough steel, or not enough prefab panels. Wasted steel, actually. Prefab panels should be over here, yep. Okay, 9.4 tons are coming. Okay, so so they're almost here. You know what? It's almost done. Got a long way to go, but but it's almost done. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush that. Uh, maybe it's time for triple speed or double speed. I always say triple speed. I don't know why. Over here, we're making a steel shipment. I imagine indeed we are. We have another shipment coming through for another 3k and another one for another 474. This thing is a waste of money, and I need to do something about it. But financially, we're doing fantastic. Financially, we are doing fantastically. You keep dropping people off? No, no people dropped off with that shipment. With that, uh, sorry, bus trip, not shipment. You don't ship people. No, that's fine. What's happening to the iron over here? Okay. People's being loaded up. 12 tons times 2, 24. So, you know, we should have a nice flow going there. Over here, what's the deal? Why are you grumpy? they cannot get to this conveyor belt. Which conveyor belt? This conveyor belt over here. Well, maybe don't build this one before you're done building this thing. Right? Right? That would be smart, right? To spend this construction. What a waste. Fools. Fools! I want to see the iron get delivered. Got some of it coming through, right? Drop some of it off. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's not all imports. In fact, I wonder if it gets used immediately, within seconds. At least we're not paying for coal anymore. What happened? Did I break something? I just don't feel comfortable. <laughs> How do we have that much coal? Bricks aren't topped up anymore. Are we importing not nearly as much coal? Like last month we got how much? 703. Okay. Oof. What did I pay for? What dropped me that low all of a sudden? Weird. Still dropping. All right, what are we doing here? So iron for sure. Coal. We're starting to import again. Maybe. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Or oh, is it because this just got finished? I guess so. And they had to stock up on electronics and stuff for the first time. Maybe. 
in food, sports. Oh, come on. I should actually maybe... All the sidewalk stuff hasn't been assigned, okay. Cheap. It's cheap. Let's go ahead and upgrade this road as well. It'll be cheap. There we go. Not as cheap, but still cheap enough. Now, hopefully, these people are able to flow out and go here. No way, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, they can't reach? That's a problem, folks. That's a problem, see? That's a serious problem. Well, I'm definitely glad this is happening at the same time. Okay, time to assign these construction offices. Missing truck with covered hull since when? Assign those. And you, up there. Go ahead and assign... Ah, new covered hull vehicle. Good timing. Do this. Alright, so these people, I hope, don't end up largely unemployed. Yeah, they can't get to anything. They can't get to any of these. Not as straight a path as I could make. If they wanted to... Like, I wonder if... Let's see, if I did this... Right, just to test it out. Then what happens? Still no. Yikes. Big yikes. Okay, that's, uh... Not very good. That's not very good. These guys are gonna be unhappy, unemployed. I need to... Get something going on over here. ASAP, I suppose. Or I can demolish this house. Maybe once these houses are done, we, we, we do. That's really not ideal. And I mean... It, it has... It, oh, god damn. <laughs> it hasn't been the end of the world so far, so it's not like it's going to be the end of the world now. But it certainly is... Was inefficient. And ineffective and unfortunate. And I'm starting to wonder if I do want to build this here. Because what are we going to do? We're going to loop around, I suppose, right? We'll like, loop around. Make, like, some harbor front housing, perhaps. Maybe we don't loop around. Maybe we do, like, a little diagonal thing like this. Do some housing over here. Uh, and all of those houses could maybe be serviced by stuff over here. Or I'm going to loop around, and the loop will be serviced by this, as well as stuff down here. This stuff might end up being useless. I might want to replace this with, you know, other service stuff. Might need to do that. I'm a little disappointed in that situation. Because we had a nice thing going over here. But seems like game mechanics have to get in the way. <laughs> I'm not actually complaining, by the way. <laughs> Just before someone thinks I am. Um, hmm. This is unfortunate, though. This is unfortunate. Because now I'm relying on this. And thankfully, resources are arriving. Right? But it just means we wasted time up there. Uh, and it'll be a lot of people who will be unemployed for a little while. This is going well as well. Making some decent progress, looks like. As long as people are here. As long as there are workers. Oh, this isn't good. All happened here. What in God's name? All right, hold on a second. I was going so smooth for so long, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it just breaks. We turn you around. get you going to there. Hold on, first of all, last month, I'm a deficit last month, that's too bad. If you get going, you should be able to, I think. 
right? You're free to go. No. Yeah, go, go, go. Once we clear this block, this train should free up. This is an expensive delay. Hey, you've cleared. There we go. You're free. And once you free up, you're free. All these trains are going to be empty. And then once that train goes by, yeah, there we go. Very strange. Extremely strange. Not sure why that happened out of nowhere, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, so. What have we got? No workers up here. Obviously there's no workers up here, because we haven't been... No workers up here either. That's going to hurt our economy a lot. That's... Maybe where the deficit is from. This is why I don't like double speed. <laughs> that is probably where the deficit came from, where we kept importing without producing quickly enough to deliver shipments of iron. Yeah, that'll explain it. That'll do it. That'll do it. We now have 310 workers in that one train coming through. Another 120 or so waiting already. Ooh, ah, damn. I was hoping it would go more smoothly than that. Maybe I can add another set of semaphores over here. Nonetheless, this is a bummer. Ooh, what if? What if? What if? Hold on. Hold on, it might not be that much of a bummer. What if... You connect. Like that. Ah, goddammit. I was hoping that connection would be good enough to reach the station. It is not. Why not? Something else broken over here? No. It's just the distance. And I don't think... I don't think having this road would make a difference. I mean, let's let's try this. Hold on. Do the mud path first. Oh! I was wrong. It does make a difference. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, God. Such joy. Such happiness. Turns out it was totally worth it. Go ahead. Upgrade you. We'll pay for it. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god. Now, was this necessary? Perhaps not. Let's try because I don't like how it looks. Try getting rid of this. Should still be able to reach. Yes, excellent. Okay. All about those diagonals, I suppose. Alright, well, I'm glad that worked out. So hopefully we'll have more work happening over here soon. Looks so beautiful. Looks so beautiful. Trucks coming through. Got buses dropping people off. Got iron being processed. Very proud of, uh, of our work over here. Very proud of it. But, um... Hopefully we catch up with all the lost time. Looks like we're doing okay. Oh, maybe that's also why... Did I... Have I been clicking on this and not noticing the, the, the worker count being low? Or has, has coal just kind of fixed itself? I don't know. I don't know, folks. But we're shipping another 2.5k approximately over there. And you are loading up with another 50 approximately in a moment's time. We came very close to 1.3 this session. We didn't quite break it. I think we got to 1.29 at our highest. But you know what? We started at 1.22, and I think we're about to end at 1.23. We're close to calling it a session. I'm just going to give it a couple seconds. I would like the sun to rise. Uh, but let's just see. W w what do we got to do here? Right? This bus has got to pick people up to drop them off. That would be quite helpful, for one. Uh, that's been working out quite well. Have we got any of these done? Yeah, you're done. Great. You need to be done as well. Um, construction office, not a sign. Why? Why would that be? How about you? Construction office, not a sign. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and fix that then. Where are we? The asphalt plant can't produce asphalt. Why not? No workers. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and add... These construction sites, shall we? Get this going. Because, sure, the trucks are doing the trick for now, but eventually, hopefully, we won't be able to. Alright. 
And this is also uh, a good piece of news that we can make an easy connection from up there to down here. That was so much easier than I expected it to be. What we'll do eventually is we'll just change this connection to go up this way instead and then connect up to there. It's a very easy, easy change. I just didn't want to invest in building all this stuff right now while we're still trying to figure out if this will work. 51 workers for what? This? Okay, fair enough. Okay. Fair enough worth it i guess but yeah with uh with all that said and done i think ladies and gentlemen we're gonna call it a session as the sun rises on another day in our glorious soviet republic as this house is uh, being built or this residential unit i should say and as these trains are topping up and taking the people to their workplaces so that our glorious soviet republic can continue to prosper this is where we'll call it, folks. I hope you had a good time. As always, if you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.